In this lecture, I will demonstrate you SAP Fiori design principles. So, why SAP needs to design this user interface? SAP Fiori. User interface is designed to improve the overall user experience and make enterprise software applications more user-friendly and intuitive. It is a significant part of SAP's strategy to modernize its software and make it more accessible and user-centric, aligning with the evolving needs and expectations of businesses and their users. SAP Fiori. User interface provides the following key features and design principles. Responsive. Simple. Coherent. Instant value. Extensibility. And role-based. So what is responsive design principle in SAP Fury? SAP Fury is designed with the idea that it can be responsive means that it can be easily accessible on your device, browser, such as laptop, mobile, and tablet. The size of the interface is automatically adjusted as per device form factor. So as you can see that we can access SAP Fury launchpad through the laptop browser. And if we adjust the browser, then SAP Fury will be responsive and will be adjusted according to the browser size. As you can see that I am minimizing the size of the browser and accordingly SAP Fury interface has been automatically adjusted as per device or browser form factor. And the same concept will apply if you will access SAP Fury through mobile browser or tablet browser. For example, we can also log in to SAP Fury user interface through the mobile app. And you can see that in the mobile app, SAP Fury user interface has been adjusted as per the device form factor automatically, as we can see on the screen. And you can also notice the size of the applications, which also have been adjusted with the mobile form factor as compared to the app's size through the web browser. And the business users can easily access SAP Fury user interface on their mobile browser whenever they have to look at any important information or any important notifications without opening their laptops or computers screen. The next design principle of SAP Fury is simple. SAP Fury interface is simple for the users as it displays the relevant tools and information in order to reduce distraction and time spent searching. For example, one user to process one use case can see the relevant information in three different screens on his or her dashboard, such as the sidebar, main screen, and the bottom action buttons to approve or decline a task. If you want to see the example of simple design principle in SAP Fury, we can see that in create sales order screen. So if we click on it, so you can see the screen with the top menu and the main screen, and you have action buttons to perform. Secondly, when an end user launches an app from the SAP Fury launchpad, for example, post general journal entries, the app runs within a shell. And the shell bar is the outer frame of the SAP Fury launchpad. And this shell bar contains header and footer areas with various buttons, icons, and a logo. In the shell header, you will either see the title of the current app you are using or home when you have the home page displayed. And the icons may change depending on where you are working in the launchpad. For example, you may see the back button when navigating in an app, but when you are in the home page, you cannot see any back button. Secondly, if you open the user actions menu, so under your picture and username, this box is called user actions menu. So when you open the user actions menu in the home page, you can see the following options to navigate further. But when you are within an app, you can have a different user actions menu. As you can see that adopt user interface option is not available when we are in the home page under user actions menu. Besides user actions menu, you have this bell icon. So through this bell icon, SAP Fury Launchpad communicates the information to the end user through a notification in a situation such as an approaching deadline or pending task occurs. For example, if I will click on this icon so I can see the notification by date, by type, and by priority. And end users also receive information about their assigned workflow tasks in the My Inbox app, which you can find in the home page and then navigate under My Inbox. Besides notification, we also have an icon for help with the question mark symbol. So if we click on it, 
then the following panel or pop-up window will be opened. As you can see that you can search help topics or documentation related to SAP as for HANA Business Suite. You can also quickly tour your SAP Fury if you are working first time. Further, you, you can know the purpose of different icons within the help topics. For example, if we click on home, so it will give us the information about home. And similarly, you can find the purpose of other icons by click on it. As you can see that it is giving us the definition about group selection bar. It also contains links if the user wants to know what's new for the SAP Fury Launchpad shell, what's new for SAP S4 HANA product assistance, SAP Help Portal, and directly open the SAP Fury Launchpad documentation. And further, SAP Fury allows organizations to customize the help content to align with their specific requirements and provide tailored support to their users. For example, the users can educate themselves by learning content within help topics. For example, we have a learning icon here. So if you click on it, so we have learning center button, we have a community button, and further we have different links where we can know about working with, with apps and working with the launchpad. So let's click on this learning center first. And the following learning center page will open showing us different topics to learn. And we can also search a learning content which is related to all roles or specific to a role. And further, if you open a particular learning content such as accounts payable, then it will display the following sublinks content under accounts payable. And you can notice here two things. Number one is the link that is showing as education.hana.ondemand.com. And secondly, these training contents are created through SAB Enable Now, which provides in-application assistance, e-learning, and enablement content to boost the users' adoption of the new technology for productivity and efficiency. So SAP customers can also buy its subscription to create their own training content to train their business users how to understand and work on the new business applications to execute different business processes. So let's open any of the following, such as displaying supplier list. And this will start an interactive tutorial related to this topic. And you can see the purpose of this tutorial, its duration, and can also view its related PDF document. So let's start this tutorial and you will have the following pop-up window at every step to guide you and to provide you the information. And you can go through it and once you finish, then you can click next. And now it is directing you to open the following app. And now it wants us to enter the company code as 1710 and choose go. And now we can view the list of all the suppliers. So in order to view a particular supplier, we can select a supplier number in the supplier column and then select this number. And now the system is displaying a fact sheet on this supplier. What is fact sheet? We will have an upcoming lecture on this topic. Click next and then return to the launchpad. So we have successfully displayed the supplier list and viewed additional information for a supplier. Click next. And that's the end of our tutorial. And then we can exit the tutorial. And that's how you can learn through the following training tutorials one by one. And further, users can access this app that is My Learning. So if we open this app, so this app provides business users with personalized access to their organization's training courses, allowing them to enroll in a relevant program. It simplifies access to various types of training including in-person sessions, virtual classrooms, web-based courses, online assessments, and learning programs. So this app offers a clear view of your ongoing, upcoming, and finished training modules. Additionally, the profile matching functionality allows you to compare your qualification with the requirement of specific roles. So this is the function of this My Learning app. And similarly, we can also navigate to community and the following community page will open where you can discover the featured content and also 2023 release highlights in seconds. So in short, you can discover the latest news on SAP S4 HANA through this community link. And further, you can have the following links. So these links are contextual help, means that it provides information relevant to the current screen or tasks. For example, if we go to post general journal entries and click on help icon, so you can have different contextual help, which is related to the current app. And through this contextual help, 
users quickly find answers to their questions without leaving the application. For example, it is giving us the option to learn about different fields within this app. For example, journal entry type. So it is giving us the information on journal entry type, its definition and its use and an example of it. Similarly, you can have transaction currency intercompany transaction and various other fields option. And further, if you click on the learning center, so it will show us the topics which are related to journal entries, for example, accounting and financial close accounting and clearing GL accounts, managing journal entry templates. So all such topics, the system considers that it is related to journal entries. And if we go back to the home page, so besides help icon, we have a search icon. So if you click on this little arrow icon, then a drop down list will be appeared and you can search under all apps or you can search for a related app such as banks billing documents. So if you choose billing document, then you have to enter the billing document number which you want to search. For example, we want to search an app customer master. So if we search on it, so it will bring us all the apps which have a title starting from customer master. Further, a business user can view his recent activities and frequently used apps in case he has forgotten that which app he was earlier working. So he can find out by navigating to the user actions menu and can view his recent activities and his frequently used apps. So if we click on recent activities, so in this pop-up window, you can view that which apps you were working previously and frequently used means that the applications in which you work frequently. And if you're working on an app recently, so you can view the relevant app and can directly open from your recent activities, for example, maintain business partner. So if you click on it, it will open the SAP Fiori app. Now, if a business user does not want to track his recent activity and frequently used applications, then he can navigate to settings and then navigate to user activities. So if you unmark this checkbox, track my recent activity and frequently used apps, then those will not be tracked. And if you want to clear your recent activity and frequently used apps history, then you can click this button, clear my history, and then click save. So it's all very simple. The next SAP Fury design principle is coherent. Apps that speak the same language, SAP Fury applications and form factors are coherent in design means that they speak the same language with their familiar resemblance. In other words, users will learn the purpose of different applications quickly as the element of the application's coherence or design ensures that tasks, language, and controls have the same meaning within each application and from one application to another. As you can see that all the SAP Fury apps are coherent in design, which means that they speak the same language with their familiar resemblance. And you can understand the purpose of each app easily. And this also includes the icons, which have a uniform look and feel. And if we open an app, so the structure of each app is also coherent in design, means that each app has a header and footer. The next design principle is instant value. There is a low barrier to adopt the user-friendly design of SAP Fury as the users can personalize it as per their requirements, which give instant value to the business. For example, users can personalize their home dashboard according to their own requirements. If we navigate under user actions menu and click edit home page. So this will give us the option to add our own group, just like you can see KPI design, QD design. So we can create our own group by click on this button, add group. And we can choose the name such as my custom group and then click this close button. And you can see that our own group has been created and we can further add Fiori tiles or links under this group. For example, if I go back to user actions menu and then click edit home page and let's say I want to add a tile manage date function. So I will click on these three dots and then click move and I will search the group name through the search bar, which I have just created and then will choose my custom group. And now you can see that this app has been moved under my group and other options I have that I can convert this Fiori tile to a link. As you can see that it has been converted into a link. And remember that a tile or link is a visual representation of an app, either in a square icon or a basic link. And links can be useful for adding apps or tiles to a section without taking up the amount of space a tile would. 
Similarly, you can hide a group, you can also delete a group. But remember that it is not possible to delete an SAP pre-delivered group. For example, we cannot delete this group that is pre-delivered by SAP. We can only delete the group which we have just created as a custom. And further, we can rename a pre-delivered tile. For example, if we want to change the name of this tile, then again, we will click on these three dots and then click edit tile information. And here we can change the title of the app. And we can also enter the subtitle and description of the app. And further, users can also change the theme of their Fury launchpad if they want. For example, if we go under appearance and then choose another theme such as SAP Horizon. So the theme will be changed. So that's how they can personalize their dashboard by choosing a particular theme. The next SAP Fury design principle is extensibility. SAP Fury supports extensibility, enabling organizations to adopt and extend standard Fury apps to meet their specific business needs. The extensibility includes the following in-app extensibility. Change and adopt the user interfaces for SAP Fury apps. Create custom fields. Create and extend forms and email templates. Enhance the current business process by creating custom business logic. Create a custom user interfaces. Create custom CDS views. Create custom business objects. View a list of your extensibility items and the dependencies between them in the extensibility inventory app. And I will demonstrate you extensibility in the upcoming lectures. Further, it means that SAP Fury extensibility allows organizations to adopt Fury apps, create custom Fury apps, enhance Fury apps, mobile Fury apps to create custom Fury applications optimized for mobile devices to provide a seamless user experience on smartphones and tablets and creating personal variants of reports. The next SAP Fury design principle is role based. SAP Fury user interface is role based. It means that each user is assigned to a role as per his job functions. For example, sales representative, shipping specialist, billing clerk, accounts receivable, inventory manager, etc. Each user role has got permissions to a specific set of applications so that the user can use them for their day to day functions. It means that the user will not be able to view those applications which do not match to his job function. For example, we need the following SAP user roles to access SAP S4 HANA Finance Fury apps. As you can see on my screen, that if we want to access the Fury app Manage GL Account Master Data, then the following user role needs to be assigned to our user name. So all the SAP Fury apps which you can view on your SAP Fury Launchpad is due to the reason that the relevant roles have been assigned to your user name and that's why you can view the related Fury apps such as Manage GL Account Master Data and further we can view the Customer Master SAP Fury app and Supplier Master SAP Fury app. So in other words, the relevant roles have been assigned to your username and that's why you can view the following SAP Fury apps in your SAP Fury launch pad. So the questions are that how to know a relevant role for a particular Fury app. Secondly, how we can assign a role to our username who is responsible to do that. So I will proceed to the next lecture where I answer these questions.